Welcome to Astrophony, your guide to the sky. Hello dear Capricorns and Capricorn Rising. Welcome to our monthly forecast for April. Dear Capricorns, April can be an important month on your behalf. It's possible to make important decisions regarding your career and your status in general and in society and some subjects related to your house. There are extremely dense energies in the first half of the month which can affect you. The Sun and Pluto square and the conjunction of the Sun and Uranus, especially the movements between the 4th and 10th, can affect your career in a way. The lunar eclipse on the 4th of April in Libra and at the same time with the full moon and lunar eclipse, because it's taking place in your home of career, it's carrying important changeable and transforming energies. There can be changes in job, a rise in job, a change in workplace and there can be changes of places or you can meet developments that can affect your status in society. If your birthday is between the 5th and 11th of January, or your rising sign is 14 degrees or closer, this eclipse can be more decisive for you. Because it's a lunar eclipse, the effects are going to be long term. So in the period until July, the eclipse's energies in this area are going to be in place. Dear Capricorns, Yes, on the 8th of April, the Jupiter in Leo, which was in retrograde, is now going to recover. Whilst it's in forward movement in Leo, it will support you more in financial subjects. Now in this period, we will be able to find Jupiter supports more. On the 11th of April, Venus is going to leave Taurus and enter Gemini. And when Venus is in Taurus, especially in the first days of the month, it will be supporting you more in love subjects. So the joy you are going to get from love and romance is going to be more satisfying. Venus entering Gemini after the 11th of April is going to start bringing more comfortable situations in your work life. There can be a development in your daily life and your working standards. Dear Capricorns, it's possible to make some workings which will increase your comfort and relaxation in places you spend your time, like your office or your house, and embellish them. On the 15th of April, Mercury is entering Taurus. Whilst Mercury is in Taurus, especially your creativity can increase a bit more. Your power to express yourself in word and writing is going to increase and in artistic work it's going to be a more beneficial position for you. You can join some educations or courses as a hobby. You can also join artistic activities or artistic courses. Yes, on the 18th of April there is a new moon in Aries. It's taking place in your house areas, so there can be innovations in subjects related to your house, your family, where you live, your home, your parents and your mum and dad. Just like this can be a change of house, it can also cover subjects like buying furniture, making a change in decoration, making refurbishment in the house, or your relationships with your mum and dad, or cases regarding them, new attempts can come to foreground. Dear Capricorns, after the 20th of April, the sun is entering Taurus. You can take more pleasure from life and towards the end of the month, you can feel yourself more secure. Because the sun, Mercury and Mars is progressing in Taurus after the 20th of April and the triangle aspects it's going to make with Pluto in your sign is going to increase your self-confidence. You can feel yourself more happy and pleasant. It's possible to receive support from your love life and subjects related to your children. This is also a period which you can really be more creative and in both your work life and private life express yourself much better and collect appreciation. Dear Capricorns, that's it for this month. So take care and see you next month. Goodbye.